you know there are specialized cells in the sense organs and other parts of the body to receive the stimuli these cells are known as receptors they receive stimuli and generate suitable impulses normally responses occur when the impulses generated by the receptors on receiving the stimuli reach the brain you know the nervous system control and coordinates these actions through these impulses how are these impulses generated and transmitted through the neurons in this video we can discuss how the impulses are generated in a neuron and how these impulses propagated through the neuron observe the video we experienced these situations in our day to day life the child in this video withdraws her hands when touching the hot object how do this process takes place when she touches the hot object the receptors in the skin receives the stimulus you know here the stimulus is heat as a result impulse is generated in the receptors and these impulses are carried by certain neurons to the spinal cord spinal cord analyzes these messages and the informations from the spinal cord reaches the muscle through another neuron and the muscle contract as a result the hand withdraws all these process takes place through the generation of impulses in the nervous system how are these impulses generated and transmitted through the neuron observe this video and formulate your inference In this video you observe that the stimulus reaches the neuron as a result impulse generated and this impulse is transmitted through the neuron what about the charges on either side of the plasma membrane of the neuron prior to reach the stimulus what is the charge on the outer surface of the plasma membrane and what is the charge on the inner surface of the plasma membrane is there any change in the charge on either side of the plasma membrane after it is stimulated how do the change in charge is propagated through the neuron as impulse why do the charges exist on either side of the plasma membrane you know as like that of other cell nerve cell or neuron consists of plasma membrane or cell membrane the outer surface of the plasma membrane of the neuron is positively charged and the inner surface is negatively charged why do these charges persist here the charge difference on either side of the plasma membrane is due to the difference in the distribution of certain ions you have already seen that the outer surface of the plasma membrane of the neuron is positively charged and the inner surface is negatively charged prior to stimulation what happens to this charge when it is stimulated look at the video this part of the neuron is stimulated what happens when this part is stimulated the distribution of ions in that particular part changes and hence the inner surface become positively charged and the outer surface become negatively charged this change in the distribution of charge on either side of the plasma membrane is due to the change in the distribution of ions in that particular part observe the video now what happens this momentary charge difference stimulates its adjacent parts and similar change occurs there too that is as a result of stimulation the outer surface of the plasma membrane become negatively charged and the inner surface of the plasma membrane of that part become positively charged as this process proceeds impulse get transmitted as electrical charge so nerve impulses are messages transmitted through the neurons it is a very important concept nerve impulses are messages transmitted through the neurons these impulses are generated when the neuron gets stimulated and the electric charges that passes through the neuron are called nerve impulse now we understand 
the charge difference on either side of the plasma membrane due to stimulation is momentary while this momentary charge difference stimulate the adjacent part at the same time the former area regains its original state that is the outer surface become positively charged and inner surface become negatively charged now you understand how the impulses are generated in a neuron and these impulses are transmitted through the neuron the main concept in this part are what is impulse and what is the relationship between stimulus and impulse what are the charges on either side of the plasma membrane what is the reason for the existence of different charges on either side of the plasma membrane what is the change in the charges of ion when the neuron is stimulated how do the impulses transmitted through the neuron now it is clear that how the impulses are generated in a neuron and it is transmitted through the neuron as a result of this process the impulses reaches the synaptic nerve and in the next video we can discuss how these impulses from the synaptic nerve transmitted to the next neuron